You know, I thought you, when you told me this is what you're playing, I, in my head, it was Mbop. <laughs> wow. So, I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, I mean, if anyone listening is good with 80s hair metal, then they'll know that the, the music is Unskinny Bop, and uh, it's a, Unskinny is a perfect way to describe us. I've been Unskinny all my life. <laughs> That's right. Welcome to Good Movie Monday, everybody, the show where we can't think of any other intro. <laughs> I can't. I've got nothing. We don't really usually have anything. No. We just usually... Uh, you usually just ask me how I'm doing and... Uh, just come in with the flow. Yeah. Yeah. And then you mention, then somehow you wrangle, you wrangle, you weasel uh, nerdy cinematic ramblings into there somewhere. Um, okay. Well, that, that is what we are. <laughs> <laughs> the, the podcast dedicated to nerdy cinematic ramblings. Um, here to kickstart your week as we do every single Monday. And you are the host, Glenn Cochran, and I am your sidekick, Ben Helwig. <laughs> That's right. Co-host, I prefer. Ah, right. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing this for a few years now. You'd think we'd be better. <laughs> Yeah, you think well. You think every now and then I could be the host and you could be the co-host. More than happy for you to do that. You no. just got to put your hat in the ring, mate. Yeah, I'd have to bring a laptop. <laughs> the only spare laptop I have is my porn laptop, and I, that cannot leave the house. <laughs> That's true. We don't want that connected to my Wi-Fi. No, sir. <laughs> it would taint. Ah, oh, Jesus! Like a, it'd be like a, a nasty taint. If you're um, if you're a if you're a loyal listener and you enjoy what we do. There's a fuck ton of uh, extra content over at goodmoviemonday.com. All of our episodes, all of our videos, some bonus content, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can go back for years, even to the previous shows before Good Movie Monday. We've had like, I think, three other podcasts before this one. Go check them out. Uh, what else have we got? Um, interview. Every week on the show, we do an interview, or most weeks, we do an interview with somebody that makes movies. They're usually they're directors, sometimes writers. Sometimes actors. Yep. Uh, this week... We have Jeff Wadlow. He is the director of, well, going backwards, he's the director of Truth or Dare and Cry Wolf and The Curse of Bridge Hollow, Fantasy Ooh, Island. Cry Wolf. I did like Fantasy Island too. Yeah, even Kick Ass 2 and Never Back Down. This guy, oh, I do. I like Never Back Down. This guy's got some good movies to his name and his brand Especially new one. Especially Never Back Down 3. That's my favorite <laughs> of, the trilogy, yeah. of the quadrilogy. Which, which is the one with Dean Geyer? That's 2. 2. Okay, that's, yeah. You know. Yeah, but Michael that's where Michael J. White <laughs> enters it. Michael J. White is the... Because Michael J. White's the made-for-TV yeah. Digimon H- H- Hansu or <laughs> yeah. whatever his name is. Armistad Man. Armistad Man. Yeah. Um, and then he carries through to number three when he has to teach more kids and he's like, I thought I was done with this shit. That's his version of, uh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Yeah, totally. Um, well, anyway, Jeff Wadlow's new movie <laughs> is Imaginary, the new Blumhouse movie about the teddy bear and... Uh, it's very, very fun. So we're going to talk about that. Stick around and uh, listen to it. Uh, ben, do you want to tell people what socials we have so that I can have a sip of my cup? Of- <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Instagram and the Facebook and the TikTok. Uh, what else have we got? we got the Spotify. we got the Threads. <laughs> we got the Twitter. We don't use Threads or the Twitter too often. Mainly the Facebook and the Instagram. We've got matching threads tonight. We do have matching threads, like and the tic- you know Glenn loves his TikTok. I I just peruse the TikTok. It's a love. Glenn hate. Uh, creates on TikTok. It is a love hate relationship with TikTok. I'm not a fan of the platform, but it does get us some good views. So. I've noticed that when I look at when I uh, when I perv on people on mm-hmm. TikTok. Well, you, you watch them, they talk to you, so you get to see who they are, yeah. like what kind of person they are on TikTok. Then you have to go to Instagram to see them in a bikini. <laughs> yeah, click through to the spicy. To the, yeah, for the <laughs> spicy content. Yeah, a lot of mums do that, and that shocks me. That shocks me that there's mums doing it. Oh, what an excellent way. I tell you what, I'd be mashing my pasty if I had one. What an excellent <laughs> way to make some extra it, cash. It is, but like for me, I, all I can think, it's the same with tattoos, I think regret, future regret. No. I'm not worried about the future. I wouldn't be worried so much about the future regret. What I'm worried about is like when you watch it, is the constant stream of content that you have to make. <laughs> like who can be fucked? Like they they do those retarded <laughs> videos, and I'm look, you know, where they vox pops on the street, and mm. you know they're all doing the same. You know, they they do the dances, but that's kind of gone out of fashion now. Like the whole Charlie D'Amelio kind of thing has has for the most part, fallen by the wayside. Mm. They still do it every now and then because there's jiggling involved. But for the most part, now it's like, you know, if there's a, if there's a, you know, some trend, they all have to do, they they all have to do their version of it. Like, you know, 
Barbara's rhubarb or whatever the oh fuck the latest thing is. Do you, know, yeah, do you know how many times I scroll through TikTok and just think, why? 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 Like, why? This makes no sense. And I've seen it a hundred times. Why are you doing this? But those spicy ones, I think to myself, those mums that do, and it's very spicy. It's like actual porn. It's not, it is 100% you know, porn. but it's like, aren't you worried your kid's going to find it one day? It's out there. It's not I going reckon, anywhere. Unless, um, maybe they're doing it in front of their kids anyway. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> like, you know, like, you know, mummy's got to make some spicy content. Oh, God. Do you like your PlayStation 5? <laughs> this is how mummy paid for it. <laughs> Don't eat that cucumber. <laughs> I need it. Oh, my God. You know. Well, we do have our regular segments think, coming up, speaking of spicy stuff. I think destigmatizing it is probably the, <laughs> the, is what's going to be happening. It's not, if everyone's doing it, it's not going to be a thing anymore. Yeah, things ebb and flow, though. I just, I don't know. Trends yeah. come and go, and I don't know. I, all I think of is instant regret or future regret, but anyway. <clears throat> yes, like I was saying, we have our spicy boneheads coming up. <laughs> did you listen to the, their latest episode was uh, Who's Going to Replace the Boneheads? Yeah, I did. I watched it. It was interesting. I thought oh, that was I, haven't, gonna... I haven't seen it. Are they are they retiring? Is no, that what's happening? No. Um, Chad was not along for that episode. They had nothing planned, so that's sort of where the conversation just naturally led. And they went uh, from who's going to replace Chad to who's going to replace all of them. But they right. went in like I would for me. I'd be like, I guess you kind of they know their audience better than we do. But I'd be thinking like, go people we know, like you know, oh you know, Matt would be good to come in into the show and yeah, know, maybe get Jared in and all this kind of stuff and. But they went Hollywood, and they went. I think they did a couple of dead actors, and I'm like, you know. Oh, like, so they they didn't select us. No, that's I was. Upsetting. That's the only reason I watched. Yeah, I thought like let's. <laughs> we just pass the baton to to Ben and Bennis and Glennis. We're gonna have them on the show in a couple of weeks, and we're gonna have to press them on that. I think. <coughs> yeah. Mm, I'm gonna let them take over the show for a bit too. That'll be interesting. Yeah, see what happens. See what happens here, so stick around for that one. <laughs> uh, what else do we have coming up? We've got the um, Jarrett's PE class. Once again, Jarrett's not with us this week, but I think, Ben, you're going to step in. You did a great job last week, may I say. Well, this week this week is a... A <laughs> different story. <laughs> different story, because last week nothing came out. It was great. Like, only one thing. Yeah. This week, it is the mother load. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's a full imprint via vision madman... Cavalcade Clusterfuck. of titles, <laughs> all of which have a boatload of extras. Oh my goodness. Hey, one other thing too is this is the first episode of the month and usually that's the episode that Malzie Begg joins us and of course she's from the Melbourne Horror Film Society. She's not with us this week um, and she normally spruiks their schedule so I'm just going to quickly run through what they've got coming up. They've got two particularly fun screenings that you might want to get along to. Uh, these are sort of bi-monthly, one's at True North. And the other one is at Long Play. There are two sort of bars in Melbourne, in the Melbourne area. Uh, at True North on the 13th, they have Adam Green's Frozen, which I, I love that film. That's the one on the oh. ski chairlift. Mm. Uh, great one location concept. Really yeah. well made. Because um, I don't think he's re- Adam Green hasn't really made particularly great films since then. <laughs> he's made okay ones. Hatchet and stuff like that. I quite um, liked Hatchet, actually. Yeah, it's okay. But it's very... Yeah, I mean, I love this guy. We're going to have him on the show soon. I, I have no doubt about it. So, um, yeah, all of his films are great. <laughs> hey, Adam, do you want to come on the show? Here, you know, go have a listen. Just don't go back too far, just to see what yeah. we're all about. Just, you know, two minutes will do you. <laughs> don't go any further. Uh, and at Long Play on the thirtieth, they have the House by the Cemetery. Another good one. The Fulci film. The Fulci film. Uh, I that's, g- yeah. I get them all mixed up, but I think that's the one where Giovanni Radice gets a drill to the head and. Could be. I think it's the one with the priest. Doesn't the priest kill himself at the start, and that's what opens the gates maybe. of hell? Uh, yes, I think you're or right. Is that I, no. City of the Dead. Oh, maybe it's that. It's part of. No, it's part it? of that collection. It's part of the three with the yeah. beyond. Yeah. The uh, beyond City of the Living Dead and and. I watched um, them about uh, the when cemetery. I said recently. I watched them about four years ago. They have fun. I really <coughs> like them. Yeah. So back when Cinema Cult put them all out. Yeah, and they're the ones I've got the trilogy back from there. Yeah. Uh, so if you are into all of that, get along, go to melbournehorrorfilmsociety.org or their socials, join up and just you know have some fun and get along. It's a real good sort of horror community that you can be part of and, and watch some horror movies with like-minded people.